Welcome to Head in the Clouds. I'm Keita May, and I'm right here live in 716 Live Studio, where they have all your needs, podcasts, broadcasts, radio, anything is all right here. Make sure you subscribe to 716live.com to check out the videos that they have there, and just, you know, check out some old episodes that I posted as well. And I'm so excited, because today I have an artist from True Riches Label, J. Dot Rivers is here with me. Oh, yeah. How are you? I'm great. Ooh, How are you doing? I'm good, too. Oh, I'm yeah. so happy you could be here. Yes, I'm glad to be here. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So before we start, I would like to say a scripture. It's from Book of Matthew 17, 5. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice came out of the cloud saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. So, the scripture was like God informing like James, John, and Peter to listen to Jesus because like he had just transfigured from a humble servant to a glorious king. Mm -hmm. And um, in a sense, I just wanted to know like, have you, do you feel like you're becoming who you're meant to be? I mean, that's a great question, honestly. Um, I'm battling that myself right now. Mm. I think I'm in that phase of a transition where it's like I'm, I'm meeting so many new people on a constant basis. It's like it's inevitable where I'm going to, you know, meet that light and, and I'm going to welcome it gracefully because yes. I've heard my whole life that it's so much meant for me that I have a spirit over me and I know that there's so much more that I could do with my voice and just with my actions. Yes, I like that. So. We had to get a little deep. So. Oh, yeah. Off rip, too. <laughs> no, for real. 716. Come on now. Yeah. So who is Jay Rivers? Like, tell us about yourself. Uh, Jay, you? Jay Rivers, I mean, great question, first mm -hmm. of all. And um, I'm excited to be here. Thank yes, you again. you're welcome. Um, 716 Live. Jay Rivers, um, this is a character. And, and, and what it is, is, is me, myself. And it's just being the expressive person that I want to be. Mm. Um, and me being in business right now and, and trying to learn that world. Uh, you know, professionally, it has been, you know, has been a battle. Yes. Um, but overall, Jay Rivers is is a person with emotions to show, uh, some laughter to give. I got I got a lot of passion in what I say and the way I move. And like I said about my actions, you know, I'm trying to bring all of that full circle. I yes. want people to understand like what I what I say is what I do, and what I do is what I say, and I live by that. Yes. Um, family is everything to me, um, and I try to, you know, hone that in as much as I can. It's just circumstances you can't control mm -mm. um you could be the son you never be the father or the mother mm. un until you start your own so yes yes i grew out of that and it's like you know i've been hurt by my family i've been hurt by myself but uh i know through all through all of that you know trials and tribulations have taught me to be a better man so yes. i'm excited for that. that's what yes. rivers is that's what i'm gonna bring with my music i'm gonna show that that growth in my music um i've been grateful to meet people like you know don your boy Don and uh, them boys over at True Riches. It's yes. been an exciting experience. So. I like, like, shout out to True Riches. Like, they even, like, I attended that concert. Was it, it was a concert. I could say it was a concert. That was, a concert. That was definitely that a was, concert. Like, definitely vibes. I really, really enjoyed that. But we can get into that a little later. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. So how long have you been in the music industry? I mean, I would say, for real, for real, messing with Don and True Riches, probably two years mm -hmm. strong. Mm -hmm. on and off probably like five years where it's just like i started in my room back in sweet home uh for those that don't know that's amherst i was mm -hmm. in amherst the suburban area just living it up and i was like yo why not just start making music i went by t raw at one point like i don't okay. know who i thought i was <laughs> but I, I put it together i didn't have a studio i had i had a speaker mm -hmm. i had my phone and i record on my phone with the music playing in the background that's how that's how it started. You better start. Nah, that's, that's how it started, and it yeah. just it, it maturated from there. I um, met great people throughout my time out there, and then, you know, down someone I met out there. Mm -hmm. And then it came full circle, you know, yeah. as an adult. You know, we kind of just went back up and started making yeah. great shit. <laughs> that's what we started doing. That's deep right there, because, like, the, I think great minds think alike, and if you link up with the people that is doing the same thing as you, it's, it makes it better. Oh, yeah. Like, it, like I can't imagine me being around somebody who is not wanting to scale higher than Absolutely. where I'm at. Like, <laughs> then you make me think like, oh, we both, okay, let's do this. Like, yeah. you know, but what type of music do you make? I make that, I make that music that is supposed to be riveting. Like, I want it to be, 
exciting. You look at my latest project, you see the cover art is just like, like what's we doing here? Like, yeah. is, this, is this about to go somewhere we don't want it to? <laughs> or maybe we do want it to. And, you they know, I'm trying to go that. through that. They, they got to see, like, <laughs> they got see somebody's thumb. Yeah. Like somebody's lips. Yeah. Or yeah. in their mouth. Is that it? It's a no. It's a no. Yeah. <laughs> her, her tongue is out. Her tongue her is out. Tongue is <laughs> she was accepting to whatever was coming. And listen. Oh, my gosh. But. Jay Rivers everywhere, listen. man. Get that. Emotions <laughs> of the art. Check that out. That new album, Emotions of the Arts. Yeah. And what does that mean? Like, how did you come up with that title? Um, so my last project, uh, I started with the artist. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I'm just learning, like, my craft. I'm trying to grow that that side of me, the artistic side, and just understanding what I want to do musically, right? Mm -hmm. You ask that question of what, what it is my sound is. Yeah. I'm still discovering that, but I find, like, little niches or, like, little pockets that I could really you know, vibe with, yeah. you catch me with Don at the studio, we making music that's like, we just, it's vibes. Mm -hmm. um, and and everything we, we build out of those sessions just come to a project or just an experience. Mm -hmm. um, but that's how it kind of, it kind of formed. The artists, and you got emotions of the art, and then we got deeper than art coming soon. But Ooh, we're going to keep working. So you going like that? Yeah, like we got a little series. I'm catching the trip right yeah. there. I'm catching it. So art has so many emotions, and it depends on the artist to portray that. And um, out of all the songs, I think they're all amazing, but I'm gonna just tell y'all my top three, and I like the Lovers Do, Special, and Trouble. Like, I don't I don't know why those stuck out to me. Yeah. But um, are they based on a true story? Because you was talking about earlier how you speak, you know, what you say is real, and so were those based on a true story or just an expression of art or a mixture of both? It's a mixture of both. Mm -hmm. I experience, uh, like lovers do, mm -hmm. a lot of back and forth. You know, with you know past experiences. I ain't gonna really get into it. Okay, we ain't. You know, I'm I'm more I'm more more towards the future right now. Yes. So my focus is there. Yeah. But those emotions are real. They're mm -hmm. true. Those experiences, those stories, all come from a deep place that I just kind of like grew from. Yeah. You know, I try to make that rose from the concrete and uh, mm -hmm. just try to be as vibrant as I can with my music. Yes, I like that. Rose, okay. So, is that from Kubrick? I love that book. You never read it? It's like a poem book. No. Nah. Okay. You gotta, you gotta get it. Oh, okay. Amazon too. No, I gotta check that out. Yeah. Send me okay. the link, please. Oh, we'll be, we'll of be course. doing. Of course. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, is there someone or something that inspires you? Y'all gonna hate me for this. Um, okay. <laughs> Yay! Yay! I'm Don't. not gonna hate you. Listen. <laughs> that's. Come on, like. Tell him, please tell him why. It's just why. his ability to go from you know one plane to the next is just mm -hmm. is it, it is what would you call it? I'm starstruck. If I ever seen that man, I'll be graceful to even like get an autograph. Yeah. It's just the way he thinks and the way he puts things into a perspective is very different. It's very abstract, and I feel like my whole premise, my my identity is art. Like I identify with the most artistic people wherever I go. Mm -hmm. And it, it may be a spiritual thing. Yes. And I would love to see if Kanye got that. Like, if Ye is that person that brings that type of spirit, you I know? Do. I want to see that Or is too. it just a facade? That's my big Ooh, question. Like, is he is he playing is, that? You or? Playing, listen, that's a question that I think, uh, for me, like, I really enjoy him. And, like, we're all human. Humans yeah. make mistakes. Right. So the question is to me, like, is he just playing around, mm -hmm. like you said, or is he making a mistake when he say things and do things because we do that you know we yeah. we we fall but we get back up basically right. so he up yeah. he, he up. is up, he up a couple of them. He, <laughs> listen he got a long way to go if he's gonna fall now come on yo he definitely yeah. is a billionaire right oh my goodness that's what they say i don't know that's what the forbes say I don't yeah know. <laughs> okay so now who are your favorite artists you can make name top five yeah okay andre 3000 oh I love what he do with his features. His features are like, I don't even know. He's like Hall of Fame status mm -hmm, with features. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. it's just so much passion in those words. Does he want something for me, thing? Maybe in the past? I know he won a Grammy, but that, we talking about group work. I'm talking yeah. about his independent work. Yeah. I, I want an album from him. Yeah. He's one of those guys I want an album from. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, Drake. Drake influenced the emotions that you, you probably see on my you know, my music side and like the artistic side, I try to like bring that out as much as possible. And he also forced me to rap because it's like, it's, it's not just one lane you could stay in. Like you want to, you want to expand that, that uh, spectrum. And it's like, yeah. yay's up there, but uh, <laughs> a side high to Prince is like, 
Mm. That's that's mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I like lyrics, so you're gonna see me put up Nas. Okay, I like Nas too. Yeah, I got one more left, right? Yeah, let's go. One more. Mm-hmm. That's tough. Cole. I, I, ah, J. Cole. I love yeah. lyrics though. Like, I love like, I love storytellers. And those you know are some what? people. Them all of them I think that you name Drake. I can kinda include them in there. They like real yeah. with it. Yeah. And it's like real life experience yeah. and like some spirituality in them yeah. too. Drake well. might be one of them people you got a question like that facade is it there? <laughs> it's kind of evident, but that. like, cause like, you know, people play roles, man. I don't, they I don't do. think he lied, but there's there's parts where it's like, mm. Mm. cause who wrote that? Yeah, who wrote that? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bite. That's a clip right no. there. That's a clip. <laughs> okay, but um, I got to see you perform. Yeah, what you think? Tell the audience, Listen, please. Let them like, know. He Inform was lit, them. Yeah, he was definitely lit. You know what my brother called? I'm gonna tell y'all what my brother called him. He called him Lil Davies. That's crazy. They call you. Thank Davies you. is a big dude. He's major. And for yeah. him to compare you to somebody who's big like that. Oh, yeah. 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 That's deep. No, I do appreciate that. Shout out your brother, too. Yeah. Great <laughs> energy. I'm like, who oh, is yeah, this guy? He, he was everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what he off or if he just high That's energy, him. high spirit. That's I'm like, him. Yeah. I love all it, All day. All Ugh. day. And then, like, I feel like we be like yin yang, but I be trying to, like, be the... Is yeah. it, am I the yin? If I'm trying to be the chill and he's the yin, being which one? It's like that's that's a tough. I don't know. I can't even we answer gotta, that. I gotta figure that one we gonna, out. We're gonna Google that one. <laughs> we're gonna get back to that. But I'm like, yeah, okay. But um, basically, you're able to you know make music and you're able to grab a mic and be heard. Basically, was it always like that for you, or did, was it a time where you didn't feel like you were being heard? Yeah. So that go back to. Uh, what I experienced, you know, with my family mm-hmm. and um, kind of growing out of that shell that I was kind of put in at a young age. Yeah. And it's, it's getting to a deep point in my life where it was like, um, everyone was listening, but no one heard me. Mm-hmm. But you being a young, you know, you know, young individual in your family, people didn't really see you as someone to really like, you know, put their eyes to. It was more yes. like a high and by or, you know, the things that you felt or the, the emotions you had at those times you know, they, they train you to be, you know, a better man or, you know, to step they up know. and mm-hmm. and I feel like those those emotions contribute to who a man should be, right? Yeah. You should be able to express yourself and live through those those moments. And I have some bad moments, um, you know, but I'm I'm more excited for the future and like Me what too. what is gonna come from those like Me experiences, too. right? I am too. So So Yeah now you're able to get your message understood. Yeah. Because like you said, you're going into that and becoming who you're always meant to be who you knew even though they didn't know you knew and like even from earlier like it was saying god is you know working us ways through our lives and allowing people to hear you and say listen to him this is my son listen to him (laughs) like you know what i'm saying like that scripture just you know is deep to me so some people have different outlets you know to get their voice out and I'm going to whichever one. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, on, I'm on canvas <laughs> sometimes. I'm doing, you know, uh, watercolors. I'm, I'm trying to expand that spectrum. Like you said, it's just yeah. understanding like what's what's me or like what I'm feeling like in that moment. Yeah. You know, music has been like my biggest outlet, obviously. But like, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Is there anything that um, helps you helps to keep you motivated to keep going for it? Because you keep saying I gotta go for it. So yeah. what? keeps you going what keeps you motivated those words you started us off with the oh. fact that i know i know that is more for me i know that there's more for everyone in this room mm. but i know i gotta get mine too so mm. it's like, <laughs> but no I'm, I'm i'm thankful for that because i heard it so much and maybe it's you know something i fell into a belief of or it's just like the anointingness of like yes. it's it's raining yeah. down where i'm just embracing it fully you yes know? yes i like this Okay, the industry can be tough though. Yeah. And a lot of people that I know that has has been in it, they um, talk about you know how it's just different things in there. So I just want to make sure you know you be careful when you get there and okay. stay true to who you are. Yeah. Like don't create that facade that we was talking about. Oh like, yeah, no. <laughs> I can't exist in that. Yeah. I'll but, be independent before I do that. No, for the rest real. of my life before I do that. It's just it's just too much you know uh, back and forth where it's like. You see a Ye, you see a Drake, and it's like, what's the lifestyle that they really live? Um, 
I think that's a bigger question. In the world we enter in right now, it's like everyone wants that behind the scenes experience, mm-hmm. right? You get shows like this and, you know, people like you who bring that out of people. Yeah. The interview, like, face is, you know, it's, it's very, like, impactful in the community. Yeah. Hip-hop and just overall media, you need to see these people behind the doors, right? Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, what you have here is it's going to be impactful. So let just keep pushing. So listen, you gonna get me to listen, and I'm don't make me cry because I'm about to get into you encouraging someone. What would you tell someone who is just struggling to be heard in a way that they know they need to be heard? What what words of encouragement would you tell them? Like you just gave me some words yeah. of encouragement. You gotta share some more. Honestly, at this point in your life, or you know, if you're anywhere that you feel like you can't be heard, the best thing you could do is find your your reason and your and your why right that's what we do with music right we find our was like the reason and, and what is and when you write a verse right you want to know what your starting point is what your end point is when it comes to expressing yourself i want to say find what you do is, is it is it writing is it is it vocal is it verbal or is it videos you know or maybe it's even comedy you got to find your lane express yourself to the fullest potential and, and allow that place to be where you flourish right and it's going to take time it's not it's not instant you know you got to be willing to fall like you said yay yay fell a million times but you made a billion back so it's like you got to be willing to you know test the waters and see what you're going to get from it that's what i would say you know just be brave in in anything you do and be confident you know Mm. accept your annoying your annoyingness so just allow that to be who you are oh that was deep gotta keep moving forward y'all got to and um, in my mind, it's like, do you worry about, and we, I've talked about this with somebody, do you worry about who is listening or do you worry about who's not listening? So just make sure your main focus is on who is important in the moment anyway. That's so true. Ah, I cannot <clears throat> not ask this question. What does head in the clouds mean to you? That's a... <laughs> that's a great question head in the clouds to me is like you know that that place where it's you know it's calming but it's like excitement because when i talk about what's next head in the clouds is like you know we're gonna get you there like we, okay. we're gonna walk through that experience together and i want you to you know chill out lay back let them heads hit the clouds man. Mm-hmm. come on mm-hmm. this is mm-hmm. how it is it's just an experience <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad i'm here so. yes thank you the next question is called memory lane only because you have to like jog your memory to answer this question. And I'm doing something different right now. I heard. If you could win a million dollars to spit a verse from your favorite artist without messing up, Mm. what would it be and why is it your favorite? That's tough. I know. (laughs) I gotta say J. Cole's Three Wishes I don't even think he dropped it on any like streaming service, oh. but it's on YouTube. I listened to that song probably like a million times, mm. and they did like a little, uh, they did like a a teaser video in a sense where it was like just a lifestyle, and they walked through like the wire and like the main character, okay. how he was taking care of his brother, and I'm like, and it just hit hard. The words, the lyrics, everything flew together, but mm-hmm. that's why I love J Cole. That's why I would spit that verse. If I see him today, I'm like, yo, you ain't even gotta pay me, <laughs> but that money gonna motivate me. <laughs> It's gonna motivate me, but no, just to be in your presence and you know, just to spit back something that that touched me and allowed me to, uh, you know, be my authentic self in that moment is very real. I like that. I like that you said that because. Don't tell me it's I got a possibility that he would watch this. I feel like it's a possibility yeah. that your favorite artist J Cole will watch this one day. Oh, yeah. And um, I just want you to spit that verse. Wait. Everybody right now. Wait right now. Mm-hmm. Oh no! You're wild. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, I take it back. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Y'all can run that money, too. Yeah. I don't got they it. They got uh, cameras, but no money. Sorry. No money. Maybe. Oh, no. <laughs> I, listen, I'll be the first to tell you. I don't got it. I don't know the verse, but I love it, though. That's your heart. <laughs> Shout out J. Cole and everything he doing, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Next question, please. Next question. <laughs> so... I thank you so much for coming. Yeah. 
I really do. And I like playing around. You know that. So. Yeah. That off guard one. I wasn't <laughs> like, expecting that. What? She was like, I'm going to try something new. Yeah, I have I'm to like, do I'm like, hold up. Nah, that wasn't it, though. Hold up. Okay, that is my no, favorite song. Girl. No, you ain't got to, though. Even if you did. I'm going to say, well, show me the money. Look it. Show me the money. <laughs> But yeah, I thank you so much. I really feel like you're so inspirational and you're just somewhat, someone that everyone can look up to. Absolutely. And um, maybe one day I know that you'll probably share deeper testimonies with everything mm -hmm. when once you have transfigured into who you are. Yeah, so absolutely. here is your time it's to time. tell everyone where you are, what you're doing, <clears throat> where they can find you. I gotta clear my voice for this one. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm here with, you know, Heads in the Cloud. Come on. That's what we're doing. Um, J Rivers, J. Dot Rivers, R V R S, on all social medias. You can find me on iTunes, almost every DSP. Um, and I would love to, you know, get some support. Right now, we got Levi the Film coming out sometime next spring. And you know, that's just, just an exciting experience. I wanna see you guys join in, come to the screening, show support on my streams. And uh, yeah, shout out to your hosts. Be the man. Thank you guys for watching. This was really deep, <clears throat> got deep. I like that, I like when it get like that. And um, I hope you guys tune in next time. But remember, if your head is right above those clouds, they can't get close to you, you're welcome. <laughs>